Hello everyone, today I'm in Edinburgh, Scotland and I want to talk about who is the greatest writer? Who is the greatest writer from this country? Well, the UK in general. Now, obviously when I think of writer and I think of UK, there are four names that I can think of. J.R.R. Tolkien who wrote The Lord of the Rings, J.K. Rowling who wrote Harry Potter, um, Philip Pullman who wrote Hit Your Dark Materials, I mean Dark Materials, and finally, C.S. Lewis, who wrote The Chronicles of Narnia. And I was gonna, I'm just gonna say some things about each writer that I really like, and some things that I don't like, and basically kind of suss out who the best one is, in my opinion. Let's get right into it. So, first off, J.K. Rowling. So, when it, when it comes to J.K. Rowling, J.K. Rowling has a very iconic writing style. And her writing style includes using a lot of cliches and blending them together. And what this creates a very atmospheric and very nostalgic effect for any reader, and and it's very it's very telling, and you can very much feel what is going on in that world, and you get very immersed. Her power, in other words, is immersion. Also, she's you know the best-selling author of all time, so that's also a big thing. Let's talk about J.R.R. Tolkien. Tolkien started off the fantasy genre for adults. In fact, he created. Well, RPGs, arguably, he created the entirely new perception for dwarves and elves. I mean, before him, elves were just the things from Shakespeare that had wings and were mischievous. Now, when we think of elves, the first thing we think of is pointy ears, a bow, and a really handsome face. And that is all thanks to Tolkien. He changed the entire perception of entire mythologies. In other words, he, in terms of influence in fantasy writing, from then till now, and the massive impact he had in the writing community, Tolkien is absolutely unrivaled. Now, obviously, there's another person who is very unrivaled in the sense that he inspired many, who is C.S. Lewis, uh, Chronicles of Narnia. Chronicles of Narnia, I think, is everyone's childhood. It's like a very whimsical take on this fantastical world that kind of everyone wants to go to. However, there is these underlying themes of Christianity, the return of Jesus, the resurrection, and the Bible, and it's very heavily Christian. It's Christian fantasy. And I believe that it really kind of kicked off the genre. It has a lot of these elements which allow to create for this kind of epic, Christian, strong vibes. And, uh, and uh, again, it is a fantasy that creates this sense of nostalgia, not because its writing is necessarily atmospheric, but because it is nostalgic, literally. Now, fourth and final is Philip Pullman. Philip Pullman is probably the most, one of the most controversial writers of all time. Uh, I mean, his entire book series, Dark Materials, is about killing God. It's about killing the authority, or as, as he calls it in the books. And I think that is really interesting from the start. He has the best concept from all these four writers. And I believe that his world, the way he creates the world, is just incredible. Obviously, Tolkien is absolutely unrivaled in terms of the complexity of the world building. Um, but I believe that Pullman, what, where Pullman's strengths lie is in creating a very compressed and impressive world that doesn't kind of go around everywhere, you know? It's very condensed, it's very easy to understand once you kind of get into the story. And it kind of creates a new normal for you. A normal where all people have this spirit animal thing that's connected to their soul. A normal where all people use these whimsical weapons and have a fantastical world. He replaces the real world with his own. And I think that's the uniqueness of Pullman's writing. So we have these four writers. Tolkien, who is undoubtedly the greatest world builder of all time and who has impacted the fantasy genre in ways unimaginable. Rowling, who's probably made the most money out of writing and who writes atmospheric and nostalgic. We have Pullman, who rewrites the world view and creates a new world over our world and makes a new reality of its own. And finally, C.S. Lewis, who creates this amazing world with highly Christian origins, which allows for an epic, nostalgic book and story. So we have these four writers. And honestly, it's very, very difficult for me to say, oh, this, is, this person is the best writer. I mean, people can argue anything. Oh, Rowling made the most money, she's the best. Tolkien's the best, obviously, because he made the most impact. 
Pullman is the best because he's the most complex and unique. You can say a lot of things. I think my decision uh, is gonna be Tolkien is the best writer from those four. Because considering the way he writes, the prose, the world building, the story, the themat, the themes, the allegory of World War II, and the fact that he creates this massive influx of fantasy for you know decades to come after him, he impacted the entirety of the writer's community, that is unrivaled in my opinion. So I think I'll go with Tolkien. Of course, you can argue with me in the comments if you really want to. You can even argue that those aren't even the top four writers of the UK. Also, I'm not including writers like, you know, Shakespeare. I'm talking more modern, modern writers, okay? Like 1900s at least. So that's one thing I want to clarify. That's about it. I think Tolkien's the best writer from the UK. Come fight me. Have a great day, everyone. Like always, your bookbuster and a bookbuster. Goodbye, gentlemen.